And I know that sounds really simple and it's not simple at all. Because again, when you do get down the gym, trying to find this fire within you is, is, can be damn difficult. So I'm now that bald a-hole here, also a dude that just really likes fitness. And we have a brand new number one question. People get in touch with my DMs, Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. Thank you very much. And it's basically, Simon, why am I not seeing muscle growth in the gym? I've been doing this program for ages and my diet's right. And, you know, I kind of feel like I'm ticking all the boxes that I see on YouTube and I read in programs, but I'm not getting the progress that I want. This then kind of evolved into people actually sending pictures and images or videos, I should say, of them working out, which is very nice. I mean, it's always a little bit weird to go, there's a stranger that I've never met before, but now I know how they work out in the gym. And there was one kind of prevailing feature that stood out to me, and this may not pertain to you at all, but again, I'm going on the information that I have here. And in fact, let's go for a walk and talk about it. So it's really windy and really sunny, which probably means this is going to be a terrible idea. And when I go to edit it, I'll be like, oh man. But I thought this kind of ties into what we're going to talk about today. And also, I like going for my big walks, as you know, if you watched my channel before. And yes, after watching a bunch of these videos, I really do think a big reason why people, and I include myself in this, it really, I sort of almost caught myself in my own thought bubble. I was like, wait, maybe I'm part of this crew too, is that we're not training hard enough. Now, I know that, that sounds kind of silly. There is an element of truth to it in the sense that when you go to the gym, it is never going to be the sole thing on your mind. I mean, that's what all these videos tell us to do. And they say, oh man, you've got to get in the zone. And of course, that's what you're trying to aim for. But you are going to have life problems. You're going to have money problems. You're going to have partner problems. You're going to have work problems. You're going to have all of these things that are going on in the back of your mind. And what you actually need to do when you go into the gym, to lift weights we're talking about, cardio is a little bit different, but you want to, you know, push your muscles, not only so that they are doing better than they did last week, you know, progressive overload, Greg Doucette, train harder than the last time. But you also need to make sure that when you leave the gym, on this particular day, you feel like, not necessarily that you feel like you've done enough mentally, but physically, you need to feel like you've done enough. So let's say that you're doing a 200 kilogram deadlift, right? And you rep out two reps, which is damn good by the way, and you should pat yourself on the back. If you know deep down in your tum tum that you could have done an extra rep, that may be the difference, oh my gosh, the sun, between you making the gains you want down the line and necessarily not making the gains you want down the line. I mean, how many times have you gone to leave the gym and you've worked out and you've gone through the motions, but deep down again, you kind of think, well, I probably could have trained a little bit harder. And getting to that point is really hard because it's just you. There's, no, there's nobody else in the gym. Think about when you look at other people in the gym. Now, I don't think there's any right or wrong that you can be dangerous, taking the danger outside of it. But if you go to the gym and you are trying to work out and you are pushing yourself to a certain degree, then more power to you. However, if you're getting into this bracket where you want to see some serious muscle gain and you're looking in the mirror and you're not happy with your progress, that's where the change comes. So in that sense, how many times have you looked at other people in the gym and thought, they're not really attacking the weights enough to the point that they are going to see some serious gains and progress, evolution, you know, whenever they want to see it. I mean, all bodies are different, we don't know. It happens all the time, and it doesn't make them a bad person. It doesn't make you a bad person for not doing it. You know, there's a bunch of other videos out there that talk about this, and all like, oh man, you, I won't use the word they used, but you weak will human being, and that's not true at all. But if you are making it a priority, and you really are, like, you know, your diet's on point, and you know, you're changing up your programs, you're doing push-pull legs, you're doing a bro split, whatever it may be, and you're, you're getting the right sleep and you're taking the supplements, but still, you know, days are going by, hours are going by, and you're staring at yourself in the mirror and you're not pleased, you're probably not kicking your ass enough in the gym. Like, that is the truth. And we can always get sidetracked by other things, which is why, if you are in this position, what I would advise you to do, or at least I think a good idea to do, is just to start, and it's gonna be difficult, I'm not saying you should do this all the time because I do think you're going to need DLO weeks. But what I think you should start doing is just pushing everything to failure, right? Pushing everything to failure. So if you do, man, it's a giant puddle. So if you are doing chest, let's say, and you go down on that bench press and you say to yourself, man, I'm going to whack on 100 kilograms and you do eight reps and then you rack it. Don't count that. As, you, know what, you count it, but if you plan to do three sets, that's what you've got down in your program, you're doing three sets, and you rack it at eight reps, and you haven't hit failure, what was that? And you haven't hit failure, do those three sets to failure. 
And then on your next one, do those sets to failure. I know there's a bunch of other people that are talking about this too, but it really is the number one thing that I think we can all start doing. Just finding that way to reach those new levels of intensity that of course are really hard to hit. Because really what we are trying to achieve when we, uh, when, we, when we leave the gym, the feeling we're trying to achieve is knowing that we have broken the muscle down enough that everything else we're gonna do for the next 24 hours is going to put it in a prime position to grow. So without doing that, we haven't even done sort of the first step on the ladder. And of course you've got to have good nutrition. We've already talked about it in this video. I'm not going to talk about it again. But even if you're eating super duper healthy, if your body is not in a prime position to grow, then you're not going to grow. And I know that sounds really simple and it's not simple at all. Because again, when you do get down the gym, trying to find this fire within you is, is can be damn difficult. And that's why people take pre-workouts. That's why people stuff caffeine down their necks because they want that pump, they want their focus. The pump is a great thing too. Not only does the pump let you know that you're working your muscle group in the right way because blood is rushing to said muscle group, but it makes you feel good and it keeps you motivated. That's why people blast music into their ears as well. That's why there's all these little tips and tricks that you can constantly do to ensure that again, you are trying to smash it as much as you humanly can. So maybe this week, pick your favorite day, whatever that may be. If you're doing push ball legs, it could be either one of those three if you're doing back and buys it could be that chest and tries legs crazy person shoulders whatever it is and just treat that as an experiment go into the gym and train everything to failure and get to the point that even an hour after you've left and you've gone home and you've had your post-workout meal or whatever it may be and you've rehydrated and you want to feel like you're like oh crap i can't believe what i've done right try and get that feeling now it's not necessarily going to be the greatest feeling in the world and you're not necessarily going to feel that great but you may just find obviously it's going to take more than one session but what i mean is it may open your eyes and it may kind of trigger your brain into going oh man i haven't been training hard enough at all now the other side of the fence is you don't have to do this no one is going to make you do this i'm not going to come around your house and if anybody does come around your house to yell at you at this you are allowed to call the police and tell them that a crazy individual is yelling names at you <laughs> through through your front door. Now, I'm not saying that you should use that as a get out of jail free, free card either. You know, you may go, oh, well, I don't have to do it. And of course you don't. The gym should be enjoyable. The gym should be something you look forward to. But I know, and I'm gonna do a whole video documenting this as I introduce it into my training, that actually I enjoy myself more in the gym when I do walk out feeling that way. I think I, I like to think I train to that kind of intensity most of the time. But the fact that I'm thinking about it now and trying to avoid this crazy sun that is going to ruin my eyes maybe i have slacked off a little bit lately and again it's never intentional sometimes you do just go to the gym and realize yeah i'm just going to get it done but that's what you need to change you need to walk into that gym like i'm going to sweat i'm going to hurt i'm going to have other people looking at me going that guy's crazy why is he trying this i remember a story from a long time ago when you're just talking to people in the gym you know you start up conversations they said to me this was like five six years ago so don't give me any props now they're like man you train like a crazy person <laughs> it's like you're so intense and you always hit failure and I was really proud about that so it must be something that means something to me it must be something that gives me worth but yeah maybe for one reason or another it's easy to slip out of that because again it's hard of course it's hard how many times have you been doing something like a mountain climber oh do I hate mountain climbers or using something like the stepper you know like, this is just oh I don't want to do this so you naturally slow down because of course if you don't want to do something your brain your whole body is going to be saying don't do it don't do it don't do it but you need to find that thing inside of you and again that's why some people use pre-workouts go no damn it I'm going to go away so there you go it's a little bit of a rant but hopefully you you take my point and hopefully you know what i'm getting at i think there's something in this and i think it's all something we can do so again i've downloaded a program which i won't share just yet because i want to tie that into the video and let's start training as intensely and as crazy as we properly can while also being safe don't be unsafe that would be stupid and on that note please do like the video share the video and subscribe click the bell ding ding so other videos are going live just spam the comment section because youtube loves that also there's another video on the screen give it a click also i'm on instagram and twitter at simon 316 keep sending you my videos i massively appreciate the fact that you care what else can you do patreon.com for simon 316 simon.bigcartel.com for merchandise teamed up with derek more plates more dates greg set. all in the description below uh there's cameo too if you want to shout out like this, I'll be right there. Otherwise, though, good luck with your training. Let me know if you're going to document this too. If you're going to start doing crazy intensity, and we'll see where we get in six weeks. Talk to you then.